Okay, so today we will be seeing the Dempsey shaft theory and I have a little presentation here and we will be studying from this. So before going into depth, uh, Dempsey shaft theory is approach of combining evidence and uh, means for combining degree of beliefs derived from independent item of evidence. Now what does that mean? That means that if my husband has a stain on his shirt then that could be from another woman lipstick. So I have evidences that support it like if that gets erased from ethanol then it's from another wife uh, stain. So I have many independent items of evidences and then I combine that and that supports my degree of belief. So Glenn Schaffer, Glenn Schaffer 1976 developed a method for obtaining beliefs and it is very well accepted in the ex very well accepted in your expert systems. So I have each fact has a degree of support, zero support for the f fact and one is full support for the fact. How it is different from Bayesian approach? Now Bayesian approach was if independent event, if an event X has happened, what is the what is the probability that another event Y has ha also happened? So in that, the belief or the probability of that event happening, given that another event happened is equal to 1 minus probability that that event does not happen given that y event was already happened. So the negation was the negation and the belief need to be summed to 1 in the Bayesian approach but in Dempster chapter theory that is not the case and uh, both the values that is the event of that is the probability of happening the event and not happening can be 0 in the Dempster chapter theory so diff this is little bit different. So theta is a for a set of possible conclusion to be drawn and theta is mutually exclusive at one of the following has to be true so this is you can see from my uh, presentation from this presentation not mine and uh, bear with me a little and we'll be seeing what is belief plausibility such things from the from this dst so bayesian was concerned with evidence that support single conclusion right uh, i had something i had some evidence and I try to pass judgment based on the probability. So there's a 50-50 chance of either it being true or it being false. But in uh, your DST, Dempster Shafter theory, we try to give it a range, belief range. And we'll see in, uh, with example what I mean to say. So first, uh, I try to get frame of dissentment or power set. Theta is the set of su all possible subsets of theta. So if I have this belief theta and it has subset theta 1, theta 2, theta 3 are the possible beliefs then I try to get the frame of discernment theta as you can see. So the probability of theta is 1 because something has to happen from this set only right. So now a little more theory you can see from the this Wikipedia. The mass is given based on the evidences mass of a is given mass what is a a is a element of this power set as you have seen this power set m of theta 1 m of theta 2 m of theta 3 m of theta 1 and theta uh, theta 2 you can see from there and uh, based on the evidence i try to give masses to it each mass is between 0 and 1 and all the masses m a should sum to 1 now m of phi is 0 at least one needs to be true so and uh, these events a or b it cannot be divided more specifically the mass given based on the evidence is for a or b not for individual a or not for individual b as it is written there so now let us come to example and with the end of it probably you should have little or some knowledge what to write in the exam right so there are four people B, J, S, K are locked in the room and the light goes out and K got dead, stabbed by a knife, not suicide, not enter the room, no one entered the room, assume only one killer. So our belief is it's either theta is either B, J or S, right? Now as I told you, you have to make the power set or the discernment, some frame of discernment. So frame of discernment power set would be uh, it's no one it's B it's J it's S it's B or J it's B of S B it's J of S or it's B or J or S. 
now uh, a detective a very well known detective came and he gave masses based on the based on assigned masses probability to various elements of the parcel based on the evidences no one is guilty mass is 0 b is guilty mass is 0 0.1 j is guilty mass is 0 0.2 and all of this masses should sum to 1 that is one of the condition that we studied earlier so is this summing to 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 9 10 so yeah it is summing to 1 so now belief belief on a, of an in an element a is of the power set is the sum of the masses which are subset of a including a itself now the belief in normal terms will will be getting that to will be getting to it a little later so first see the mathematical mathematically what it means so given a q1 q2 q3 a is a belief so belief of a is is uh, what we are trying to know so belief of a is m of q1 q2 q3 m of q1 q2 q2 q3 q1 q3 q1 q2 q3 so it's the power set in the sum of masses so as you know what is power set so q1 q2 q3 has power set q1 q2 q3 q1 q2 and accordingly now the detective gave masses to them b is uh, b's mass is 0 0.1 j mass is 0 0.2 s mass is 0 0.1 belief of bj is 0 0.1 belief of bs is 0. Point, mass of uh, bs is 0 0.1 and mass of js is 0 0.3 mass of bjs is 0 0.1 and accordingly we can find out the belief of a which is nothing but the uh, sum of the part set of a so belief of a for each we can find out b or j belief was found by mass of b mass of j mass of bj at as it has been explained and accordingly we can find the beliefs of other system also so now coming to the plausibility of an element plausibility is nothing but the sum of the masses of the set that intersect with the set a now in normal terms i'll be explaining a little later just bear with me a little so all the subset that are uh, intersecting with bj comes in plausibility of bj b or j right so m of b m of j m of bj these were the power set these thing now why m of bs because b is intersecting with this right so bs js and bjs that comes out to be 0 0.9 and accordingly we can find out plausibility of other events also going to disbelief we also try to find the disbelief which is simply belief of not a it is calculated by summing all the masses of element which do not intersect with a and the plausibility of a is thus 1 minus disbelief of a this is how we also find the plausibility 1 minus this belief of A. Now we, uh, we find the plausibility of an element A is a subset. The, this we have seen. This we have just seen. And then now a region is given belief of A and plausibility of A. Like I was uh, trying to talk about what do you mean by belief of A and plausibility of A. Now we will try to understand it more in more normal terms. Uh, so uh, belief of interval b of s is 0 0.1 to 0 0.8 so that means that uh, the probability that b or s has killed k is either 0 0.1 that is the minimum value or maximum it can be 0 0.8 that uh, this is the maximum we can get from the evidence that the probability can reach up to 0 0.8 percent that we are 80 percent sure that the b, uh, b or s has killed so that was the Dempster shafter theory the probability in A falls somewhere between belief of A and plausibility of A. These were the two terms which mainly supported, which were main in Dempster Shafter theory. Probability of A cannot uh, be less than uh, what I have told you, it is explained here in words. So, degree of certainty. So, this may, may, uh, majorly is very well supported, very well used in the in your expert systems. So that was it. Thank you guys.